That's the way on cycling news and if someone said do a video on the new Cervelo. Cervelo tears up the rule books. Uh, sounds like a it sounds like an advert from cycling news Cervelo. So you know with me, there's no adverts uh, here. I'm not sponsored by Cervelo. It's my honest opinion. I did have a Cervelo a few years back and I quite liked it, but I kept snapping the front derailleur off of the frame, the mount just kept popping like four or five times. Eventually got it fixed by a really good carbon repair guy in Adelaide called Crack Carbon and it actually shifting felt stiffer after the repair than it did stock. So I eventually sold the bike for a thousand bucks, full SRAM red. I just it got very flexy for me. So for me Cervelo might have changed, but for me the quality of carbon was very poor, the workmanship was very poor. So I give them a a diversion uh, and they're very expensive for what they are in my opinion. Right. If you like the Cervelo and have excess of it, can't can't compare with that. But the Cervelo I had was an RS. I really like the geometry there. It was a super light bike, super felt super uh, super good in the saddle up the climbs. I really had a lot of good ride rides on that bike. It was uh, good fun, good fun. But the quality, the durability, it was just I, I didn't really like that. Um, but the good thing about carbon is you can fix it if it does break. Anyway, let's get to the, I'm talking about my experience with Cervelo. Let's talk about the S5. So the S5 for me is probably one of the ugliest looking fucking bikes in the 2019 lineup. Now, what is that stem? Like, what, what is going on there? That is ugly. Ugly, in my opinion. But if you think it's really sexy and hot and gets you hard and wet, then hey, how do you? For me, this looks like a high maintenance bike. What they've done by throwing away the rule book is they've got four different forks for different sizes. So you need two or three years' time, let's say you, you're riding along and you, a dog runs out and you crash your Cervelo S5 2019 model and you've, you've broken it. You've broken the fork. And now you've got a special order, some special sized fork. For me, that sounds like a mad pain in the ass. Oh, so. That's for me straight away would mean I wouldn't buy a bike like this. I wouldn't ride own a bike like this because it's just too hard to find parts way down the track. And also the what, what's with this this handlebar setup? Can you put a standard handlebar on there, or are you locked in for this special thing? Now I've got bikes where I'm locked in. Like I do have the S Works Epic, and you're locked into that rear shock, which is a bit of a disappointment because that rear shock is, in my opinion, a pretty crappy design these days. So. If I had my time again, I'd get something uh, different, maybe a Trek um, soft tail, like the, what's it called, the Pro Calibre or whatever it is, or just get a hard tail. Uh, these days, I'm getting more and more inclined for bikes that are more durable, I've got less things to fuck up on. So, it, for me, this this is, and this, this is also your average Cervelo customer, overweight, enjoys riding bikes, has a lot of money in the bank, it's a fat banker bike, and hey, I'm all for people being on bikes, so... If you're a fat banker and you buy a Cervelo, I'm still going to say, g'day mate, I'll see you out on the road. But this is where it's aimed at, it's a sort of gimmicky bike in my opinion, aimed at the fat bankers, things like that. So this colour, I like this colour, that's a nice safety colour. Will it fade? I'm not sure. And are they all disc brake bikes now? Are they all disc? If I was going to buy a Cervelo, I would get an R-series, a lightweight stuff. Um, <laughs> see, the comments are, shit ugly, blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that it's uh, it would probably ride like a slug, like most disc brake bikes do. If you're going for that pure super climbing, I mean, here's that, actually I'll take that back. Most disc brake bikes ride like slugs, unless you get top shelf. Like I've got a Giant Defy, and that's you know it's got su super light, it's a very light bike. It's got discs in it, so that that does ride very nice. But I've ridden friends bikes you know they were sort of cheaper wheels and cheaper frame and, and they are quite heavier yeah so for a road bike i do like the lightweight nimble stuff so you're going to get discs then i'd recommend spend money so you get a super light disc brake bike otherwise stick with calipers stick with calipers so anyway that's the review of the uh for me the s5 um ugly hard to get parts all down the track what if you're on holiday you know, here in Thailand, if I break my giant fork, I can get a giant deal and buy a new fork. Dog runs out, cracks my fork, I can go buy a new one today. Today. Um, if I'm riding my Cervelo S5, crack the handlebars, the transit, or do something the fork in front of the dog, what's going on there? So again, it depends on the person. I understand not everyone lives my lifestyle. 
but I do like pragmatic bikes, and for me, this new Cervelo doesn't look very pragmatic. If you're, if you're dead set on a Cervelo, then get, in my opinion, get stick with the R-series. Stick with the R-series.